Hello, this is going to be another chit chat get ready with me video. So I am going to start on the getting ready part of it. Um, where we are going today is kind of exciting. I feel like I found this place that um, is for little kids and it is called, um, I think I mentioned it in my previous get ready with me video. I can't remember now. But um, they do like gemstone panning it's called. So you buy a bag of dirt <laughs> basically and it has, um, you can either buy a bag that has gemstones or a bag that has um, fossils. And they have all things that you need like the little seed sifter thingies and they have like water like a running thing of water, like a stream type thing. And so you sift the sand, the dirt, and then you, I don't know, I guess you wash it or something. I don't really know too much about it. I was just looking at the photographs on their website. And um, I think my daughter would love that because she loves dirt, <laughs> first of all. And second of all, she... Um, she loves like rocks, especially pretty rocks. She's always picking them up on the ground when she sees them. So and she just loves digging. And um, whenever we go to the, sorry, <laughs> to the park, she'll, her favorite thing is like the um, sandbox. All right, sorry about that. I couldn't really talk <laughs> while putting makeup on, around my mouth. But, um, that's what we're doing today. We were going to do it yesterday and then time kind of got away from us. I was doing, uh, I was running some errands and by the time I got back, I was like, oh, it's kind of late because the place closes early. So we will go today. Oh, yesterday. So one of my errands yesterday was to go to the tailor to have my jeans tailored to actually just to have the zipper on them fixed because here's what happened to me. <laughs> um, I have a pair of jeans from um, Lucky Brand. I originally had a pair that I bought at TJ Maxx of Lucky Brand jeans and I mean they were relatively cheap. So they were TJ Maxx, I don't know, like 25 bucks or something. And I loved them. They were like my favorite. So this was like a really long time ago. And I had them for years and years and they just kind of started falling apart because I wore them all the time. So my husband was like, oh, um, well, he didn't say anything to me because he tried to do it in secret, but he went and um, got me some Lucky Brand jeans from like the actual store for, I forget what holiday it was, like maybe my birthday or something or anniversary or I don't know. It was, it was a while back, but, um, they're so expensive cause I would never go and buy them, um, on my own. Like he knew that unless I found another pair of TJ Maxx or something that I wouldn't buy more to replace my favorite ones. Cause I'm like so cheap, <laughs> especially when it comes to like clothes. I, I hate paying for like a brand name. Like I understand that if you're buying something that's good quality, you pay more, but there's no reason that like you can't have good quality jeans for less than like a hundred and something. Like I, I feel like a hundred and something dollars is like um, overpaying. Like you're also obviously paying for the brand name too because that's so much money. And um, so he bought them for me and I loved them and I wore, wore them all the time. And um, I mean, I still up until recently, well, when I was pregnant with my son, obviously I couldn't wear them. Um, but I have been wearing them and then um, they're a little bit too big for me now because when I lost the baby weight, I lost a little extra and I don't know actually. I don't know why all of a sudden they're too big for me. I think that um, after I had my son, I was really worried that like none of my clothes were going to fit me. Because I had, my daughter was a C-section, but my son I had naturally, and it, it what, I wasn't worried that like, oh, I gained weight, my clothes aren't going to fit me. I was more worried like, 
um, even if I lose the weight, my clothes aren't going to fit me because when you have a baby, it like, um, it changes your bone structure. It can like, you know, push your hips out. And I got this thing called shrink hips. It's called, and it's just a band. It's kind of like a belly band. Like I wore a belly band because that provided me like a lot of support, especially like I, um, when I had a C-section with my daughter that helped me so much. Um, or those like pressure, like underwear that suck your stomach in that just like really helps with like alleviate pain and discomfort you know not just for the purposes of like sucking my stomach in so this one is kind of like that but it's for your hips and you wear it on your hips to kind of like push them back in place and it's not that I'm like super vain and I'm like oh my gosh my hips are gonna be bigger now like let me put them back I want to be want to have small hips so it's not really that I was just like I don't know I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to be back to my normal self. You know, after you have a baby, you just kind of like want to feel normal again. <laughs> and I didn't want all my pants and shorts to not fit me. So I just wore, I didn't wear that much. So I'm not sure it did anything, that shrink hips thing. But anyways, long story short, <laughs> my jeans, <laughs> um, too big. And so I found literally the same exact ones on eBay in just one size smaller. So I was so excited and they were $12 with $8 shipping. So that's 20 bucks. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is such a good deal. <laughs> and of course, I didn't read the description as carefully as I should have because it just listed like measurements and in there in like the, they just listed everything they possibly could, you know, like all the measurements and like the materials, everything. And then like secretly snuck in there was just a few words that said like, zipper is broke. <laughs> and I just kind of like, unless you read everything thoroughly, you're going to miss it. And so it's obviously my fault because I should have read everything thoroughly. It's eBay, but I didn't. And I was so excited. And then I got them in and I was like, oh, <laughs> This is why, this is why they're so cheap. The zipper is broken. And I looked for a tailor to fix them. I mean, I don't know if I could have done anything about it on PayPal, like returned them. It said no refunds. And I don't know if I could have been like, oh, they were tricking me, but I felt like it was kind of my own fault. So <laughs> I'll deal with it. So I found a tailor that, there we go. Um, said that they could fix a zipper for me for like 13 bucks. So I figured even with the additional expense of $13, it's still a really good deal because they were so cheap to begin with. So I was dropping them off yesterday at the tailor and I forget <laughs> if I like had a point about this or that was it. I just wanted to tell you about that. I don't know. But they're, my jeans are the tape. Oh, yeah, that's why we didn't go to the thing yesterday because I was running errands and then it was a while until it was done. So today we're going to go to the gemstone thingy. And I'm so excited, too, because I've been, like, really into gemstones lately. Today I'm wearing, um, it's called a moonstone, rainbow um, moonstone. And it's so pretty and I love it. I'm going to do a video very soon, maybe in, like, a week or so. I'm waiting for all of them to come in because it takes a little while, you know, for, for shipping. And I want to do everything all together in one video. Just to show you, you know, all the thing, all the pendants that I bought and everything just be easier to have on video. So that's coming. That's coming relatively soon. And oh, I forgot to put eye cream on underneath. Oh, well. That's what we're doing today, and then afterwards, we are going to probably go buy groceries at Whole Foods, because this place is kind of like the same direction as the Whole Foods, and Whole Foods isn't super close for me. So, since we'll be like halfway there, might as well go there. I usually go there with my daughter, but today I think we're just going to go there all together. <laughs> like family grocery shopping trip. So I still have to write up my list of what I need to buy. Otherwise, I'm just going to like wander aimlessly around the store. And that drives my husband nuts. <laughs> He's always like, how can you just do that? Like, 
organize your shopping. Oh, let's see. I'm just gonna do a very, very simple makeup today. Really basic. Just like to have a little bit of makeup on, but not, um, not really much of a look. Just one eyeshadow kind of look. And I forgot a look. Oh no, I didn't forget a lip color. Okay. My makeup's not in this room, so. I have this like little, I'm just wiping off the foundation. I have this little bucket. It's like a little plastic bucket that I throw everything in that I need and then I come into this room with it. <clears throat> so let's see what else I wanted to tell you. I wanted to talk about running because that's something that I started doing again lately. I used to run um, a decent amount because I did track. Sorry, it's so hard to talk and do wing dialing. <gasps> um, I did track in high school and in college. And then I kind of ran a tiny bit, you know, afterwards. When I had the time and after my daughter was born, I didn't have any time to do anything. And then when she was a little bit older, I started doing like the elliptical when she would take a nap. And now she doesn't take naps. <laughs> yeah, and I have a son too, so. So hard. So hard to find the time to do anything. Alright. And, um, so I really, really have been wanting so badly to run for the past, um, I don't know how long, <laughs> ever since I stopped doing it, I've been like itching to do it. I'm going to do this eyeliner real quick and then I'll start talking again. I feel like I really can't talk and do it at the same time. All right, so that is done. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and just throw in some mascara and a lip color and I will be done. So um, I started running in the evening, like after my husband gets home from work and just, I mean, it doesn't take that long because I can't run that much. <laughs> it takes just like 10 minutes. I go, um, I don't know, I think it's somewhere around a mile maybe. There's just a little area in our neighborhood where you can just run for a while in like a straight line and then run back. So I just do that because it's easiest. And um, I've been doing that a little bit. And at first it was so hard and then it got a little better and then I didn't do it for a few days. And then it was hard again, so... It's been a couple of days since I've gotten um, a chance to run, but at least I'm a little bit back into it and doing it, you know, even though not on like a super regular basis, at least like, you know, every once in a while, a couple of times a week, several times a week. I would love to do it um, at least every other day or every day. So it's, it's hard because sometimes my husband will get home from work late or some days I'm just like really tired because I didn't sleep well the kids kept me up or something but um, when I go visit my parents this summer I think I'll have more opportunity to run because my dad is really really into running and he was saying oh you know we're gonna run every single day when you visit we're gonna run together because he was you know excited to run with me because he's so into it <laughs> that's why I'm like I need to get like somewhat in shape now because I'm gonna like <laughs> die when I start running with him there so and that is on the workout front and let's see what else has been happening to me. I really, really love <laughs> this heated eyelash curler. It's like my favorite thing. <clears throat> Just makes such a difference with my lashes. I feel like it it really holds. Like the curl really holds. I never really noticed much when I used a non-heated eyelash curler. 
but the heated one made me realize what an eyelash curler is supposed to be all about. <laughs> and I love it. Today is such a nice warm day. The weather has been amazing and I've been loving it. Um, our pool's not open yet, but that'll be really fun when it opens because my daughter loves it. Um, I really hope to teach her how to swim. We probably need to sign her for some kind of swim lessons because I don't know if we'll be able to teach her ourselves. But so far, she's been swimming with those little arm thingies, you know, that you wear. And the floaties, <laughs> those really, those help her because she can swim with those on. And there's a slide that she loves. She'll just like, go down the slide, climb out, go down. And she'll just like keep going by herself, which is cool. Ever since we got her the floaties before that, um, you know, we'd stand at the bottom and catch her. Or sometimes we'd even have to go down with her when she was younger, we did. Because we were worried <laughs> of how it was going to go. But she loves it and I'm excited for that and I'm excited for um when I do visit my parents you know taking her to the beach because she really likes the beach I'm not really like a huge beach person my husband is he loves the beach but I like as long as I have something to do like I think when I go there with my kids it's gonna be different because there's gonna be a ton to do <laughs> involving them keeping track of them and everything and like, I don't know, building sand castles, whatever, but I just don't like it if when you're just like lying there for hours and hours. <laughs> First of all, I need shade, so I definitely need some kind of like a, an umbrella because I get too hot and I don't want to get sunburned and I wear a sunblock and everything, but still. I don't want to keep reapplying it. That's another thing that annoys me at the beach is sunblock. It's even the nice ones that are not like super whitening and gross and greasy. They're still, I don't know, still feel them. <laughs> and then the sand sticks to you. And I don't know, I just hate like feeling sweaty and sticky and sandy. So <gasps> I like the pool better than I like the beach, but. I like what? Well, I like the atmosphere of the beach, and I like the way you feel being there. And um, I think I would enjoy like walking on the beach, or I do. I do enjoy walking on the beach. So I just can't. Like my husband can just lie there for hours and like sleep and just lie there all day, and I would get bored out of my mind if I did that. But reading a book sometimes it's hard because it's so bright. Like the sunshine's so bright, but. If you have an umbrella and you have like some shade, that's something that would be fun, reading a book. I've done that before on the beach. We actually went, uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter, like our last pre-children vacation, we went to the Outer Banks. And we got a little house on the beach and we stayed there for a week. And I was already like pretty, pretty big. My belly was pretty big, so I uh, I would read books on the beach, and then also it was really close to the, the beach was really close to the house, so you can walk, so I could, you know, walk home if I got too much sun or something, and I wanted to be indoors, and my husband can just, he, you know, would just sit there as long as he wanted to, so that was fun, but my favorite vacation ever was the cruise that we went to with my daughter. It was after, um, she was like a year and a half. So it was before I get pregnant with my son. It was like our, <laughs> our last vacation before two children. So, um, that was so fun. Oh my gosh. We went with my parents. So they helped out a lot, like watching my daughter so we can actually do things and not just like babysit the entire time. And I just, I remember that like all the time when I want to feel happy. I just think of our cruise that we went on and it was so amazing. I hope one day we'll all get to go again with um, 
my son, but so expensive. And the next vacation that we're going to save up for is going to be Disney World when they're like a little older and they can remember. They can remember the experience. Even though I'd go on another cruise before I went to Disney World, but my husband's like, we can't rob them of that experience. Like every child wants to go to Disney World. All right. This is um, Red Apple Lipstick, by the way, in Pinkle Twinkle. Oh, and the only eyeshadow I put on was um, Sonic from Silk Naturals. So there you have it. My very minimal, minimal look. <laughs> and... Um, that is it. So now I'm off on our little um, gemstone <laughs> panning adventure and maybe if I'm able to record some footage, I don't know if I'll be bringing the camera there to record it, but maybe afterwards I can show you what we found <laughs> or something. Um, if if it, there is you know much to show, then I will do that. All right, so I'm back and as promised, I'm gonna show you the our treasures that we got. So um, the place was really fun. It's like fifteen dollars for a bag of <laughs> my son's here. You're gonna hear him. Fifteen dollars for a bag of dirt, and then you sift through it and find all kinds of goodies. So this is petrified wood, which I guess is wood that turned into stone. This is um, quartz crystal. I, my daughter found this like on the, on the road there and she insisted on keeping it. So I think this is just a rock. It's probably quartz. Um, this one they told me is, um, there's like the green parts are emerald. So they said it's called emerald in matrix when it's like a rock with like little pieces of emerald in it. And this is a piece of amethyst. And this is, what do they call this? Sodalite. And two pieces of, well, <laughs> well, we, they look the same, so <laughs> two pieces of pyrite, which is fool's gold. And a few pieces of um, citrine. Citrine crystals. They're like little quartz crystals with some orangey yellow tones to them. And then there's some in things in here that are just rocks <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know, unless they liked them. So I just let her keep whatever she wanted to keep. But there's a bunch of these tiny little, um, let's see. All right. So I think that all of these like little pieces are um garnet I was told and they all look black but a few of them if you hold to the light you're not gonna be able to see them. <laughs> it like shines through and it looks red and you can tell that it's I guess that's how you can tell that it's garnet <coughs> so that is it on our little um, adventure. It was really fun, but it goes by really quickly. And my daughter likes to do like she needs to be entertained for like a longer period of time. I think if you are willing to spend a lot of money and buy like a whole bunch of bags, they also have bags that have fossils. But um, it's fifteen dollars for a bag like this thing of dirt, and like this is how much stones we got out of it. So uh, we just did the one, and it was pretty quick. I mean, maybe like. 10-15 minutes it took us to sift through it all so um maybe, it was, maybe when she's older it'll be more fun because she'll be able to sit there and look at them all but here she didn't really want to look at them all she was like I want to do more give me more dirt I want to keep doing it and I'm like oh we can't <laughs> we run out so anyways I just wanted to kind of do a little follow-up update just to let you know um, how it went. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.